Today I'm going to show you how you can copy a table from Excel to Word with VBA. Previously I have shown you how to copy a table from Word to the body of an Outlook email, but I received a question recently that they wanted to copy the table from Excel into Word, and so now I'm going to show you how I do it. So here I have a table, and it's just a small table for demonstration purposes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this table so that um, I'm only going to get uh, two, uh, two accounts, let's say. Let's say. We'll say OK. So now we're down to two records on the table. And now we go to... Uh, we go to macros where I'm on the developer tab. I go to macros. Um, my macro is called copy table to word and I'm going to run it. And so what it's going to do is it's going to open up a word document. And then it's going to copy that table onto the word. So now you can see that you have the exact two, um, the exact two filtered records that you had previously in in Excel now is copied onto your Word. Okay, so let me show you the code how I did this. So here's my code. Now um, I declare a table as a range. New document is my Word document. I want to um, open up a new document to copy it to. Word object, word object as an object, word document as an object, word table as an object. Um, I'm turning off the screen updating and enabling events, events, events while I'm doing this. And I'm going to set TBL is to uh, workbook sheets, sheet name. Sheet name is sheet one, which I have here. And the table name is table one. Now people have difficulty with this. so. Let's click back onto our sheet. Let's click on the table in the table, and then you get up the table uh, menu or the the table tab here. And the table name in the table tab is the table name right here. So that's where you find the table name. Now your table won't ne necessarily be named table one, but this is where you check to see where it is it is on the table tab. So let's go back here. So now we've Set the set the table to worksheet one, and then we have table one as the range, and then we have on error resume next. If Word application is nothing, set Word app create in one. If we don't have a Word open now, let, let's create one. Set page editor to Excel inspect Word editor. Word application is visible. I want to see the the table when it comes up. Um. Word application active, set new document, Word app documents. Now set range to table, and we're at table one, and we've got showed you the name, and I want all, copy it. And so um, it's going to take everything that you've filtered out of here. New document, paragraph one, paste Excel table. We don't want it to link to the table, so when you, un when you filter another way, you don't want it to change. And then, then we, we turn, um, the applications uh, screen updating to true and page editor enable events equals true and set page editor to nothing. And then we're, what we're going to do is so you don't have the, the marching ants around your Excel, we're going to copy application cut mode equals false and then we're end sub. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the Excel file and I'm going to change the filter on the, on the table here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter for um, another, another, um, another account as well. So we have three lines here now. And so now let's F8 through the code. I have deleted the Word file that I've already created. Now let's F8 through it. Okay, so now what it's going to do is it's it's opening up a Word file. And so then it's saying, now we're going to create a document. And so there's my document created. And now um, 
Now it's going to bring put it in the paragraph, the paragraph one. So we're going to go continue F8. And there goes my table into my Word document. So there you have it. That is how you copy a table to the, a Word document. Please subscribe. I will, of course, include the code in the description of the video.